Okay, everyone, just bear with me for a moment. I know there's no one in the chat at the moment. But anyways, I'll be starting soon, so... If you're watching the VOD later, you can just skip on over to when I start the game... Put the game overlay on, so... Yeah, just bear with me a moment. I just need to sort something out. Uh, why can I not hear the... Oh, okay, now I can hear the audio. There we go. Alright, that should be everything. I hope everything's okay, because I did test this beforehand, which is why I'm a bit tardy today. <laughs> oh goody, a good 11 minutes uh, late. Anyways, greetings everyone. I'm Professor Prinny, and today I'm going to be playing Octopath Traveler 2. Uh, it was the game that was voted on the most in my most recent poll of what to play next out of the selection of four different games. I'd like to thank the two people who voted on it, and yeah, without further ado, let us begin a new journey in Octopath Traveler 2. Oh, great. Do I have to update? Ah, oh, great. How long is this gonna take? Please, please tell me it's. <laughs> please tell me it doesn't take too long. <laughs> Great. Um. Oh, uh, a few minutes. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Everything's fine. If it's just a few minutes, great. Wonderful. Fantastic. <laughs> oh dear. I wasn't expecting this setback, but at the very least, it's not taking as long as when I encountered this screen for my first Fire Emblem Engage video. <laughs> ah! Well now. Well now. Alright, guess I'm just waiting a bit longer for this, huh? Alright, so... I guess I'll just talk about what I've been doing recently. So I've finished editing my next Fire Emblem Engage video, which covers chapter seven. And surprisingly it was short it I managed to get it down to like ten minutes or so. Which is pretty good for my standards. I've pretty much been giving myself a goal of editing my videos within a week. It's quite tough, actually. <laughs> Quite tough, especially for me, who's only recently been trying to do this seriously uh, since the start of this year. But it's... I've got... I've started to get used to it. Started to. I haven't fully gotten used to it, but I've figured out a, how to get the workflow going within my own life. And also, I... Well... Uh, part of, part of the reason I overslept. Well, okay. <laughs> part of the reason why I am tardy today is because I overslept. There we go. That's the <laughs> that's the sentence I wanted to say. <laughs> okay, the game is finally updated. Whoopee! Right, let's actually start the game now. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, okay, that's a nice loading logo. Do to do, do to do to do. I would very much like to play with the English voices. Thank you. Uh, brightness? Uh, maybe a bit brighter? Mm. <laughs> uh, you know what, we'll go about this. Yeah, we'll go about this. Right, Square Enix. Acquire. And the Unreal Engine. Oh, and the Cryware too. <laughs> Loading system data. There is none. <laughs> oh, 
Welcome to the stream, Salt and Pepper. Hey, Prinny, been a while. <laughs> Not sure, remember, but it's in Macau. Uh... Hang on, bear with me a moment. I. <laughs> okay, yeah. Hey, Prinny, it's been a while. Not sure if you remember me, but it's in Macau from the Trust Azure Run. I just finished the game about a month ago, and this is a pleasant surprise. Oh, I'm glad you found my. YouTube channel <laughs> in Macau. Uh, yeah. Uh, how, how was your playthrough through, through Trails to Azure? <laughs> and yes, sorry, like, uh, uh, the, the, my hat's blocking your... Uh, <laughs> your message on the stream itself, but <laughs> you know what? It, just add another few messages on and then so everyone else will be able to see it <laughs> in future streams. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm loving this music though, and from what I remember with the promotional trailers for this game, uh, it's a bit more steampunk compared to the previous game, so I'm quite looking forward to seeing... Uh, this new aesthetic. Uh, it was great, man. Haha. <laughs> but I was actually talking about Octopath 2. A... Oh, you were talking about Octopath 2. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've been hearing, like, this is a lot better compared to the first one. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. So, honestly, let, let, me, let me go through all the characters first and then I'll decide from there. Although, just in case I don't have a preference, I do have a backup choice on how to decide. So, first of all, we have the Dancer Agnia. Uh, so, similar to Primrose from the previous game, I suppose, uh, dancing-wise. Your name is Agnia Bristartarni, you, and you are a dancer. Your tale begins in the verdant region of the Leaflands. Though a tavern dancer in a small village, you have big dreams for the future. I'm going to be a, become a star that brings smiles to people's faces, just like Mama. With hope in your heart and spring in your step, you begin your journey to stardom. Uh, did I play the first? Yes, I have, actually. Uh, I've pretty much completed it all the way up to the Gate of Finis. Yeah, so the final dungeon is pretty much everyone calls it. <laughs> and yeah, I, I really like I really like the game. A lot. <laughs> yeah, th sure, there's a few kinks it could sort out with its storytelling, like how... Like, the, the characters don't really intersect as much as... Uh, I would have liked. Like, they, they, they pretty much are their own individual stories, and then you just have the other characters there to help. Combat-wise. <laughs> Anyways, we, uh, this is the Merchant Partitio. Your name is Partitio Yellowwheel. Yellowwheel? Yeah. And you are a merchant. Your tale begins in the vast wastes of the wildlands. After witnessing the rise and fall of the pioneer town you call home, you set your gaze upon the horizon. I'll be back once I eliminate the devil called poverty from the world. With dreams of bringing prosperity to all, you embark on a journey with only the scent of commerce to guide you. Alright, the Apothecary Casti. Your name is Casti Florenz, and you are an apothecary. Your tale begins in the port town of the Harborlands. Discovered the drift at sea, you awoke to the realization that you could not recall your own name. The only clues to your identity are your satchel and skills and an apothecary. I need to rediscover who I am. And there's something else, something important I'm forgetting. Unable to ignore the nagging feeling within you, you embark on a journey to recover what you lost. Oh, and over here far to the very, very far southwest. <laughs> Warrior Hikari. Your name is Hikari. And you are a warrior. 
Your tale begins in the desert region of Hinoe... Hinoe Uma. Ugh. <laughs> that was a bit tough. Hinoe Uma. <laughs> you are the younger prince of Ku, a nation ever a nation ever at war, and worry for your people, who have suffered greatly from the ceaseless battles. I pray for a world without conflicts, without bloodshed. Hoping to bring peace to your nation, you strike out on a journey for your like-minded allies. And on the other side, <laughs> on some smaller islands. Hunter or Chet? Your name is Ochet, and you are a hunter. Your tale begins on the Isle of Totohaha, alongside your fellow beastlings. Despite your troubles with the human islanders, you live a carefree life. That is, until you learn of an encroaching calamity known as the Night of the Scarlet Moon. Alright, Master Juva, I'll do it. I'll find those creatures of legend and bring them back. Desperate to save your home, you set sail in search of those who can help. Alright, Thief Throne. Your name is Throne Anguis, and you are a thief. Your tale begins in a thrilling city in the Brightlands. You are a member of the Black Snakes, a thieves guild that controls the city from the shadows. Your job is to steal and clean. Okay, may I'm already tempted with this one, just because of the stealing part. <laughs> if it's anything like the first game, I... Uh... <laughs> Well, hopefully there are some really high-powered items we can steal from somewhere. <laughs> Not again. Not this stench. Every time I breathe it in, it feels as though my very lungs are rotting. The stench of blood. Determined to escape the cycle of bloodshed, you embark on a journey for the keys to your freedom. Thief job OP? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Especially in the first game, it's like, uh, what's his name? Oh, great. His name is on the tip of my tongue, but I... <laughs> ah. Yeah, the thief in the first game, yeah. He... <laughs> I always had him in the party, but he was like, Yeah, you know what? There, there's, a, there's just some random NPCs that for some reason have... Oh, Therian, thank you, that was it. <laughs> yeah, there's just some random NPCs with, with some really strong items on them for some reason. And honestly, I couldn't care less if the uh, steal rate was very low, but <laughs> I'll try and steal them and make my game easier, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, your name is Temenos Mistral, you are a cleric. Your tale begins in the mountainous region of the Crestlands. Though easygoing in your duties as Inquisitor, that all changes the day a tragic incident takes place in the church. Oh dear, I suppose it can't be helped. After all, doubt is what I do. Sensing that there is much more to the incident than meets the eye, you set out to solve the mystery left in his wake. Okay, I'm leaning towards Throne, but honest in all honesty, I don't really have a preference. Uh, com especially uh, compared to the first one. The first one, I kind of set my sights on Tressa as my first one. But this time around, I'm not too sure. Okay, so you know what? I will go with my backup plan, and that is... Ta-da! <laughs> Spin the wheel! That is my backup plan. <laughs> so I've got everyone's names on here, so I will just go with whatever the wheel decides. <laughs> Uh, Temenos, was that one? Uh, hang. Uh... Oh, wh whoops, that's my overlay. <laughs> uh, let's not, let's not disable that, shall we? <laughs> uh, where, which one were they again? Oh, over here. <laughs> oh, I didn't, oh, wait, that's Oswald's. Temenos? Uh, oh, that's the cleric. Oh wait, I didn't even read the all these scholars. Yo, know, I'll, I'll read his one real quick before we do Temenos then. Your name is Oswald V. Banstein, and you are a scholar. 
Your tale begins in the snow-swept reaches of the Winterlands. You have been sentenced to life in prison for murdering your wife and daughter, and have since spent 1,879 days locked within a frigid cell. Harvey, the man who took everything from me, shall die by my hand, I swear it. Not even the bitter cold can extinguish the raging fire in your breast, and so you set out to exact your revenge. Oh, so this guy is pretty much gonna be like, uh... Uh, the Count of Monte Cristo. A si or a similar plotline, I see. <laughs> but yeah, the wheel picks Tamaro, so here we go. We're going with the healer first. I don't know how good of an I <laughs> of a choice that's gonna be. <laughs> Long ago, darkness and confusion reigned. The hearts of the people ran over with wickedness. The world seemed eager to greet its end. Then eight gods assembled and with their sacred flame brought light to the world. Oh! Oh, Elfric. There's been a murder, I see. <laughs> the day is wicked. We give our power to you. You must stop Vide. <sighs> well, terrible tragedy indeed. Elfric the Flame Rest Raider. well. I shall put an end to Vide's wickedness. Oh, th these are all gods, I see. The truth lies in the flame. And there's... and now there's only one. I'll be while moving to Dash. Confront the wicked god. Oh goody, we're already on the final boss-like moment, huh? Ah, oh, I can't- I can't open the menu. Alright, is this gonna be a tutorial then? Vide. Do you truly need to enshroud us in shadow? Oh yeah, how's the uh, game audio uh, from your guy's end? Is it uh, alright or should I make it a bit louder? Okay, so this is the final boss, I assume. It's fine? Okay, that's great. Shall be mine. You have made your choice, Vide. And now my righteous flames shall turn you to ash! Okay, tutorial time it is. Oh! Flames <laughs> 99 shield. Fun. What do we have with uh, Elfric? Elfric's Wrath, light damage uh, three times. Attri all attribute raising effects for nine turns. Sure, why not? <laughs> May the sacred flame guide me. Oh, wow. Nine turns as well. Oh, can we not? Can we not? Uh. Okay, we. I can't. Can't spend the BP yet. <laughs> you will atone for your sins. Okay. 
Okay, guess we'll just keep spamming Elfric's Wrath then. The shadow descends upon the realm. Is this the best you can do, Elfric? Well, if you let me spend my BP, maybe I'll have a chance. <laughs> Enough of this foolishness. I shall devour you as well. Flames aid me. I wonder what that buff is. I assume that's invincibility, but well, well we shall see. Indeed, it is invincibility. All right, no point in using magic then. <laughs> you cannot possibly hope to best me. See how the light fades from this world. No. What did you say? The flame has been entrusted to me. From its humble light shall a fire be lit. Okay, I, I assume this uh, part plays regardless of who you pick first. Oh. Shining its light upon the darkness. I fight in me yet. Oh, there we go. He's used up uh, a lot of BP that he didn't have before. Divine Resolve, unleash a 7 hit attack on your foe with the help of your fellow gods. Ooh, show us. My fellow gods, let us illuminate the shadows! I am eternal. I will engulf. Okay, it caused a break, but their shield gauge still says 99. <laughs> the malice of the people. Burn bright, O oh sacred flame. From our hearts. From our hearts. <sighs> oh dear, the, the flame has whittled. What was the next line? Oh, he just forgot. He's gone senile. <laughs> this, this is a bad time to be going senile, old man. <laughs> well, uh, that wasn't how I expected uh, that to end. <laughs> I assume he got bright, defeated. Oh, sacred flame from our hearts. From our hearts. <sighs> what oh. was the next line? Oh, he was he's doing a sort of puppet show or a play? He's telling a story. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot! It's dried the shadows from our hearts. Ah yes. My apologies. You've a fine memory, young man. <laughs> Everyone knows how that part goes, Temenos. How's this guy a cleric again, if he doesn't know the sacred scriptures? <laughs> At least get your own performance right. <laughs> <clears throat> now then, with that foible behind me... Elfric's flames consumed the wicked V-Day. Disaster was averted. The eight gods, their power drained, fell into a long slumber. They then became the sacred flame that keeps the darkness at bay. And thus, the people continue to live in light and warmth. Yeah, so far it's been... Oh, the OST is so good. Oh, so yeah, so far it's been pretty nice and chill. Especially the uh, title screen theme. It's like, it's it's just the regular Octopath theme, but honestly, it's a lot more bombastic. For the sacred flame ever shines upon them. That was pretty good, Temenos. Yeah, apart from the, uh, <laughs> forgetting one line. <laughs> Except for the lines you forgot. Again! Again? Oh, this isn't the first time. <laughs> You're quite a demanding audience. 
When are you going to commit the story to memory, Temenos? Do get a hold of yourself, Inquisitor. I shall, Mint. Now, here are your candles of the Sacred Flame. Return to your homes, light them, and open your hearts. Let their warm glow illuminate every corner of your souls. Thanks, Sister Mint. I like your hair on you. <laughs> Why, thank you. We are all born with shadow inside us. Oh, wait. So if this is early on, then I don't think uh, the tragedy mentioned in Terranos' uh, profile shadow has happened yet. Our worst instincts. Anger. Hatred, resentment, and jealousy, to name a few. But the sacred flame drives these shadows away, leading us to the light. Oh, it's the pontiff! Ah, your holiness. Please forgive the unruly scene. <laughs> Nonsense! The children seem to be enjoying themselves. <laughs> I pray that is the case. Well, it was entertaining. <laughs> the story was entertaining, especially the part where Temenos forgot his one line. Might I have a word, Temenos? Gladly, Pontiff. Crestlands and in Flame Church. So this is the first town I'll be exploring. Oh, and is that a castle in the distance? Temenos, does the village seem at peace? It does, at a glance. But shadows lurk around every corner. And that, my son, is why I have a job for you. Oh cool, a very assassin-like uh, <laughs> job for the Inquisitor. <laughs> We've had no major incidents since I appointed you to the Inquisition. However, since arriving here, I've felt forces mobilizing against the Church. Hmm. Now, I know your position as Inquisitor keeps you Plenty busy. But I beg you to aid me, Temenos. I know I can trust you. Okay, so far we don't know if the church is evil or if, if uh, their adversaries are evil. Heck, maybe they can both be evil. Heck, maybe they can both be good. We don't know yet. Just as I trusted Roy. You shower me with undue praise, Pontiff. Are you two keeping secrets from me? Ho oh, ho ho ho! Oh yes, Mint. Grave secrets. Now then, I must take my leave. I have others waiting on me. Just... Come to the cathedral this evening. I have much to tell you. Understood, Your Holiness. Okay, and that's where we'll receive our task. The truth lies in the flame. Who was that? I believe that was Lucian, a theologian from the Western Shore. What brings him all the way to meet with the Pontiff, I wonder? Is there no end to the pile of secrets in this place? Well, that's what we're about to find out, I see. Oh, that, that that's the cathedral that I thought. <laughs> I've a little while before my meeting with His Holiness. Perhaps a stroll through the town is in order. Indeed, let us stroll. Okay, continue the story from here. Uh, side story, starting points, save points, hidden items.
anything in here? Anything at all? No. Can you th can't thank you enough for coming here. Alright, nothing important in the church. Good afternoon, Temenos. Uh, you're the Inquisitor. Uh, yeah, this guy doesn't seem like... Doesn't seem that scary or just yet. Uh, this guy is blocking this path for some reason. <laughs> Uh, here's the save point, so we're... Okay, we're, we're dealing with save points still. Alright. Okay, I wonder if the save points still uh, reset step counter... The step counter in dungeons. Or on the field. <laughs> because then I might be able to cheese my way through a few uh, <laughs> high-level areas <laughs> early on. Maybe. And bring the menu up now. Uh, and Temnos can only use staves at the moment, as well as whatever magic he has, if any. Mm, I don't feel like buying anything just yet. What's all this commotion? Listen to me, you fools! The church uses the sacred flame to deceive us. But the truth shall be exposed. The purge begins here and now! Wow, uh, <laughs> buddy, you might want to know who's in your audience first when you sp uh, spout those words. Open your eyes. The truth lies within all of us. You are the ones who must open your eyes. <sighs> A sanctum knight, are you? <laughs> Newly anointed, but yes. Why do you rage against the sacred flame? I beg you, look inside yourself and repent. You didn't say they'd set the knights upon us. Well, there's a knight here, and there's an inquisitor over uh, to the side of you as well. Ah! You, you cowards! <sighs> oh? I'll start the purge with this cleric. That ought to open your eyes. Oh. <laughs> We've just become the hostage. The sacred flame protects no one. How dare you! Oh dear, it seems I've been captured. <laughs> oh, n oh, that energy is like, oh no, I've been captured. What a shame. But while we're here, allow me to ask: You're a heretic, are you not? What? Oh, sacred flame, shine your light upon us. <laughs> oh, did, he didn't even need to lock to deal with that hit. Wow. <laughs> Behold, the protection afforded by the sacred flame. Ah, such a oh, stunning performance. <laughs> Thank him, not me. The Staff of Judgment? Uh, are you the Inquisitor? The that Inquisitor. I... My word. It is an honor to meet you. 
Only the best among us are chosen to assume the honorable role of Inquisitor. And yet we're only level one. I, I hope to one day join your ranks. Hmm. You're an unusual fellow. Do you have a burning desire to recount our history ad nauseum? Uh, our history? Indeed. What is your name? Crick, sir. I've been assigned to escort duty at the cathedral. Escort well, now, duty? Hmm. I can certainly vouch for your swordsmanship. It appears the rumors are true. The heretics are mobilizing against the church. Indeed. The Sacred Guard increases its defenses as we speak. Unbelievable. What are those gods of ours thinking? Peacetime is no time to be lax in your duties. Did I hear you directing those words at the gods? Okay, this guy gives a n <laughs> zero Fs uh, to the gods of this land, I see. <laughs> The very gods you Inquisitors are messengers for. <laughs> there is such a thing as trusting too much, Crick. I dare say even our gods would be relieved at hearing such a frivolous comment from me. I must be dreaming. These cannot be the words of a clergyman. Well... That there's a clergyman right in front of you? <laughs> Doubt is what I do, Crick. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I must go greet the pontiff. Then you had better turn around. The cathedral's not that way. It is up the stairs, boy. Great. I've only just been assigned. Goodness, I must admit, I fear for you. Come, my little wayward lad. I shall guide you to the cathedral. Wa wayward lad? During the day, Temnos can guide the townspeople, and they will follow him wherever he goes. Ah yes, aid me! Cannot be used on certain individuals if your level is too low. Right this way. Oh wait, I've already been in the shop. Uh... Okay, there's some dragonflies to the left. What's in this house? Oh, there's a treasure chest. Hey, I'll take your money. Thank you very much. I shall take the tithe. <laughs> I haven't done anything bad, I swear. Hmm, that sounds like someone who's done something bad. <laughs> Although we have no evidence for such a thing. Okay, the tavern's empty. Uh, no need to rest. And we still can't go to the top part of the inn. Okay. Alright, there doesn't seem to be anything else, so let's move on. Flame Church Pilgrim's Way. A simple path to start off with. Oh, and the route splits here. Hmm. The sun hangs low. We can ill afford to dawdle. The beasts grow in number at night. Then we must steel ourselves and proceed with caution. <laughs> You're a stalwart companion. The Sanctum Knights are handpicked from among the church's best. They're even called God's Blade by some, and reportedly capable of felling a thousand beasts. You may trust me with your life, Temenos. This God's Blade is with you. 
Okay, I wonder what kind of guy Crick is going to be. Is he going to be the uh, a character that dies early, or is he going to be a like a foe we'll have to fight later? Did my eyes deceive me? During that last fight, I was certain. Yes, I do believe you hid behind me the entire time. What? Why? That's preposterous! I swear on my reputation as a knight, I shall protect you. Then my eyes deceived me, and I meant no disrespect. I hereby place my life in your hands, God's will. Very good. You'll not catch me hiding, sir. Now then, let us be off. Okay, first off towards the right, because that seems to be the wrong way to go. <laughs> Crick joined the party. He actually joins. <laughs> Okay, the pads continue to split. <laughs> and there we go, our first encounter. Alright, uh, I know how this goes, but yeah, you, you can... <laughs> Enemies have different weaknesses, use those to eliminate the shield gauge a bit, and you can cause breaks that stun the foes for a bit. <laughs> I see what you truly are. Where was I? <laughs> right, press R to boost, uh, and make more actions, or boost the power of actions. Oh dear. Let's see, are you weak to light? Oh, goodness. What a tantrum that was. Oh, and they level up already. Nice. Ah, the nuts are back. Those are the stat boosters, if I remember correctly. You can board a canoe from up here to move across the water. Oh, we just <laughs> we just have a canoe in our pockets. Okay. All right, and some equipment. We're fighting on the boats. <laughs> oh, that's that's so cute. Where was I? <laughs> Man, they're really fighting effectively for being on the canoe. <laughs> Their own individual canoes, no less. Holy Fighting is not what I do. Fighting is not what I do, says the says the Inquisitor that just fought a fight. <laughs> and here we are, already at the cathedral. Oh, those are some nice statues. And here we are, my lost lamb. I beg you, cease calling me a lamb of any sort. My name is Crick, and you would do well to remember it. <laughs> my apologies, Crick. As I said, here we are, the Order of the Sacred Flames Cathedral. And is that the the flame Are you of this uh, order? That blue flame? Huh. Hmm. Hmm. 
This is certainly strange. It's locked. It's locked, ooh, but the lights are still on. Hmm. Your Holiness, tis I, Temenos. Hello? Are you in there? Would you be so kind as to open the door? I fear I shall catch a sickness. Man, I love Temenos' tone so much. It, it's it's the tone of someone that just like... Did the pontiff <laughs> truly invite you here? He doesn't... He really doesn't give a damn or something. <laughs> I must say, I'm beginning to doubt you're the Inquisitor at all. Learn to doubt at last, have you? And yes, he himself told me to meet him here this evening. Perhaps something's gone wrong. Maybe it's that purge the uh, insurgent talked blade about. With one mighty swing, cut through the door like a damned criminal? Absolutely not. Oh dear. But, so be it. <laughs> it was worth a try. <laughs> we'll just have to think of another way to get inside. Hmm. Have you hit upon one? A secret passage, perhaps? Hmm? Can you hear me? Uh, Temenos, we'll catch our death out here if we don't think of something. Inquisitor Temenos! Oh, hello there, Crick. <sighs> Is everything quite all right? You look dead on your feet. My apologies. I cannot help but concentrate quite deeply when I ponder a problem. Mm, and it's to the point where he concentrates so hard that he doesn't seem to notice anything around him. <laughs> a bad habit, I admit. <laughs> Gee, I wonder how that's going to pan out later on in the story. Hmm. Thanks to that bad habit, however, I've thought of something. The cathedral underwent significant repairs two years ago. Surely those who assisted with the repairs still live here. Perhaps... Interrogating them will shed some light on the way forward. Oh, interrogating them, not even asking. We're going straight to interrogation. Interrogating? What are you planning to do to them? <laughs> Is this... I thought this... Isn't this guy supposed to be... Isn't this path action uh, one of the good ones? <laughs> Let us be off. At night, Temenos can coerce information out of the townspeople. Oh! <laughs> I see! There's day and night actions for characters. Interesting. By day, he's a good boy, but by night, he will... <laughs> he will beat <laughs> the ever-living daylight out of you, through throw. <laughs> Obtain what you seek by breaking them in battle. <laughs> Uh, this guy is a historian. I don't think he'll have the information we desire. Oh, just came to the cathedral, but he looks shady. I will get answers. <laughs> Break your foe to gain information. <laughs> wow, I was kidding about the whole uh, beating the ever-living daylights part of things, but I guess we really are doing that. <laughs> if Temnos is incapacitated before we break the enemy, the attempt will fail. To work. Holy light! Illuminate the dark! Okay, so we only need to break. We don't need to kill. Oh, yeah, that, that's quite neat, actually. <laughs> Give me a moment. 
moment, I need to close the curtains in my room, it's getting really dark in here. Okay, there we go. Wow, we truly are an Inquisitor, huh? <laughs> a young man working for a local group of bandits. Though he is considering leaving so he can settle down with his beloved, seeing repentance as a first step towards the life he wishes to lead, he visits the cathedral nightly to pray. Alas, no amount of prayers will help him free him will help free him from his collar. Information gleaned. Nothing. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> he looked shady, but truly it wasn't him with the info we needed. Okay, you know what? I don't think there's been there's any repercussions doing this, so uh <laughs> Time for some Alright, we'll just uh <laughs> hit everyone with what we've got. Where was that? Well, that was quick. A historian from Montwise, he mostly studies the order. Order cathedral contains extremely valuable books, and Val the library of Montwise does not hold hold the same info. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Interesting indeed. I also love how Crick is not even participating in any of these, and yet he's just allowing Temenos just beat up everyone. Uh, four star strength. Uh, you know what? Sure, let's give this I a shot. Will get answers. We shall <laughs> rough up our fellow clerics. Very well. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Okay, good to know how strong four star is. <laughs> so it goes. Okay, good to know. We will have to get info out of that cleric another time. Okay, can't go in there, but I'm going to assume that's how we'll get into the cathedral. Ah, well, here, here, here's a cleric we can uh, get info <laughs> out of. Where was I? Well, assuming we have the, uh, the, the means to. Okay, yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Holy light. the dark. Hmm, kind of suspicious that a cleric is weak to light magic. Hmm. <laughs> no info, book lover. Okay. <laughs> Moving on then. Nothing in this house. Uh, we'll go in the house first. And uh, this guy is the only guy left, so... You will give me the answers I seek, our I architect. I will get answers. <laughs> oh, they use a dagger too. Very well. <laughs> now die. All right, light magic it is. Where was I? Holy light. To work. Holy light. All right, give me the info I need. 
an architect and religious zealots involved with the cathedral's repair two years prior. He built an underground passage leading to the cathedral's interior to grant his crew free access during the repairs. Said passage remains accessible via a small building to the cathedral's east. Okay, and where is the key for that door? Oh, the smaller building east of the cathedral hides a subterranean passage no longer in use. Blessings of the sacred flame unto you, Vados, for this gift. I see, I see. I must say, I did not expect to be heading underground. The path is open, Crick. The path... Which you forcibly opened, despite being a messenger of the gods. And the gods did give okay, the there we go. Crick finally has the way forward. Uh, <laughs> finally sharing his thoughts on Temenos' methods. I did as the scriptures bade, Crick. I used the flame vested in me to open the way forward. Forgive us our sins, O oh gods. My goodness. Those of your ilk must lead an exhausting life. And you're a part of what causes that exhaustion, Temenos. <laughs> And how is it that people of your ilk get chosen to serve on the Inquisition? The Pontiff chooses us. It's quite simple, really. Hmm. The sacred flame flickers. This is an ill omen. What? I am overcome with unease. Nevertheless, we press on. Okay, most likely the pontiff is already uh, kaput. <laughs> or he will be soon. <laughs> Alright, the path forward is open. Oh, or the danger level 5 already. Uh, Crick, you'll be protecting protecting us, no? Okay, there's a, some water down here, and there's a treasure chest up at the top. Okay, the cathedral's to the west, but let's see what's down here to the southeast first. Add Temnos to your party at night to turn the ties in your favor. Oh, okay. Debuffs during the night. Where was I? Holding on. Make the darkness. Oh, goodness. What a tantrum that was. Okay, good. Okay, bonus for being untouched is money, overkill and break for XP, and JP if you dominate the fights. I assume dominating is beating the fight in one turn or something, potentially. And I should probably heal Temenos up. <laughs> we did get a bit roughed up uh, during those interrogations. Nope, nothing here. Stand back, Terminal. Very well. Holy on. Eliminate the darkness. <laughs> to battle. Oh dear, you're not weak to anything we have. Interesting. Did Terminus just react to uh, Crick dealing a break? 
You know what? That's quite me, actually. <laughs> okay, lots of status effects. Uh, we've already been dealing status effects, so why haven't you shown us this tutorial now? Uh, poison, silence, blindness, terror, unconscious, uh, sleep, and confusion. Okay. To work. We'll deal with those when we get to them. Now Where was I? Take that! To battle my honor as a yeah! Are you all right, Tim? I mean, we are getting levels quite quickly, though. Okay, there's a way up, but there's a path over here. What's behind? Ooh. Hello there. Alright. New weapon. Oh, hello there, merchants. Uh, I don't really need anything at the moment. Although we should at least... Oh, well, I was going to say I should heal Temenos, but... Uh, okay, good to know that level ups are also give a full heal. The silence is eerie. Where is the people in, that were supposed to be in the cathedral at this time of night? Alright, I think we're already at a boss fight. Or will be on the boss fight soon. No, nothing in that room. More soul stones. Uh, those will be useful if we don't have those elements for some reason. Oh dear. They broke through the window, huh? Uh, your holiness. Please, no. He's dead. What in the world? What's happening, Temenos? Let's see, is the attacker still here? Shh. Wait, actually, is... Those slashes on the uh, pontiff's back, those look like claw marks, I think. Oh, wow, I actually hit the... <laughs> Is that an arcane beast? <laughs> hit the nail on the head. Could it have shattered the window? Surely not. Stand back, Temenos. I, I will protect you. I appreciate your courage, but I need not be sheltered from any and all danger. Here it comes, Crick. To battle, Crick. All right, first boss fight. Let's go. Okay, the boss fight theme is pretty similar to the first game's one. I see. Where was I? Hold it up. Illuminate the darkness. <laughs> Oh, it's got AoE magic. Oh, the healing's AoE. Okay, that that's that simplifies things. Holding up, eliminate the 
darkness. On my honor as a knight. Hold on. To battle. To battle. Huh? Yeah! All right, go. let's break you again. Holding on. Eliminate the darkness. Well done, Temenos. Wow, they do say good oh, job dear. to each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Repent. Uh-oh, what's going on? It's agitated. Or is it gonna show us uh, that it's gonna do a devastating attack soon? You may as well get behind me if all you have to offer are cruel jokes. In the sacred name of the Thunderblade, I will smite this creature. Well now, you may prove reliable yet. In which case, I had better do mine. Once the latent power gauge is full, characters can use unique commands in battle. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not full yet. Keep the debuffs up. Alright, what is Temnos' latent power? Press X on his turn and then activate. You can lower your foe's shield points with any attack regardless of their weakness. Okay, that would really help during coercion, I see. This isn't good. Well, we don't need to use it at the moment. Uh, we'll pressing X activate it immediately. Your okay. Uh... For your sins. No point in using it right now. Just use two. Now die. And then crick out crick can take out the last few ones. It's almost gone. On my honor as a knight. <laughs> Sets its sight on Temenos. Uh, oh! And it gets immunity to being broken. I probably should have saved it for this moment, huh? Uh, it's almost down, so I think I'll let it do what it's doing. I will protect you. To battle. Oh wait, uh, I did not pay attention to the turn order. Uh, all right, we'll just do it again. Oh dear.
Oh, shoot. Um... <laughs> what? Crick, get back up, please. Oh my goodness, it's still not down? <laughs> I'll take this. Oh! <laughs> nice duty to fight. I wasted the healing item for nothing. Great. <laughs> oh well. Well, we got a few level ups at least. Pontiff. Why? Why did this happen? And how? Steady yourself, Crick. We must keep our wits about us. Uh, forgive me. Enormous claw marks down his back. The beast did this, without a doubt. He's yet warm. Or too late, but not by much. While we were underground, I see. Accident. An accident. You view life through a keyhole, Crick. How do you mean? A cathedral window shattered. A massive beast roaming within. The pontiff slain. Intentional. Temenos. Hmm. Oh, Temenos? there we go. He's back to his deep thoughts. <laughs> the truth lies in the flame. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he's... <laughs> Given the current scene... Okay, he's a cleric. He's a... Inquisitor. He's also a detective. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> he's got. He's playing multiple I roles here. This is roughly how things looked before the Pontiff was slain. First, we must find out how the beast came to be here. It must have left a trace somewhere around here. Man, this is some very Ace Attorney-like music playing right now. Oh, hello. Lingering scent of incense. Looks like someone burnt incense here. It smells of fool's poppy. A flower known to attract all manner of beasts, but especially those of the Varg family. And that's why we fought a Varg. In other words, it's no coincidence we found that foul creature here. It must have been lured to the cathedral. And what about the window? Shards of the cathedral window are scattered across the floor. But this window contains powerful wards that keep evil at bay. So how did it get through? Well, someone would have had to shatter it intentionally. Hmm. This shard has a bit of dirt on it. As though it landed outside the cathedral. Oh, someone broke it from within. Oh, interesting. And then just threw all the shards inside. Hmm. Suppose it did land outside the cathedral. Someone was with the pontiff then. The window could have been broken from within, and the shards retroactively scattered inside. Wow, they really had a lot of time to do that, huh? In which case, this was not the beast's doing, 
but the work of another. And it's possible the beast might have already been inside. Possibly. I see it now. The broad strokes of the scene have become apparent. Though, one thing still troubles me. The toppled candlesticks. The four toppled candlesticks. These are never seen in the cathedral but for a few important ceremonies. So, why were they out tonight? They're probably related to the task the pontiff had for us. Maybe. In fact, the pontiff once told me that the flames of these candles represent the sacred flame itself. Wait, where's the fourth <laughs> one? It, there's, there's, he just said there's supposed to be four, right? Where's the fourth one? Oh, wait, it was there, but... The gods... It wasn't there in this... to seal their evil counterpart away... Oh, wait, no, this is just his, uh... Became his four imagination. sacred flames and settled into slumber. The truth lies in the flame. It's a recreation of the scripture. This is no mere coincidence. It was premeditated. By whom and why? Yes, yes. I do believe I have it figured, Crick. Ah, Temenos. I'll come back. The fragments of the window, you see. If you look closely, they have flecks of dirt upon them. Which suggest it was broken from within, and the shards were scattered across the floor afterward. Add that to this censer, which contained the lingering scent of an incense known to lure all manner of monsters. You know, it would have been nice if we were able to make selections on what we thought happened, but oh well. <laughs> you mean... Someone shattered the window and attracted the beast, which killed his holiness. This is no accident, but a murder. I am all but certain. Who... who would do such a thing? Indeed, that is the question. I believe we have a hint, however. Look. These candlesticks were carelessly toppled. You may suppose they were knocked aside when the pontiff was attacked. He, he's still not mentioning why there's only three of the candles here. But these are only taken out for a handful of important ceremonies. Oh wait, never mind. I see the fourth one. It, it's just blending itself uh, in between Terranos and Crick. Okay, never mind. I thought that was so leading why were to they somewhere. Out never tonight mind. <laughs> and surrounding the altar, no less. Hmm. The gods, eager to seal their evil counterpart away, became as four sacred flames and settled into slumber. That's a book of scripture. But why was it hidden away in the pulpit? The truth lies in the flame. I believe His Holiness sensed the impending danger and hid it for us to find. Hoping that someone would understand the significance of all this. Recreation of the scripture, huh? And no lines were forgotten, it seems. <laughs> There is something in this bit of scripture, a truth not yet uncovered. That will be all, Inquisitor Temenos. Oh. The Sacred Guard will take over from here. Why are you here? 
We got word of a beast prowling the area, but I see we're too late. And I see the pontiff's been killed. Well, you wouldn't have had anything to do uh, with this, would you? We will be asking for your statements later. Leave it once, and take nothing with you. Let us be off. Crick, I've something to ask of you. I need you to investigate something for me. Oh? And what might that be? Internal strife, it seems. Hmm. Within the church. In, in my JRPG church? <laughs> Several days later. Oh, gods above. Pontiff Yorg, father to our flock. Was as the sacred flame onto us, scattering the shadows cast along our path. And we shall tell his story for generations to come. Your holiness. This cannot be. All right, may the man rest in peace. Hopefully. The sacred flame itself wavers in sadness this day. We may never fully comprehend what we've lost. Well, we will get to the Deputy. truth of it. <laughs> Eventually. I wanted to speak with you since you discovered the scene. Did you take note of anything unusual? Let me think. No, not a thing. Oh, no, he doesn't want to share the info, huh? We both know that's not true, Temenos. Reflect on what the dear pontiff would think of your lies. We, the Sacred Guard, are an independent investigative body within the Church. One that has long upheld order and peace within the Church's purview. The pontiff set up the Inquisition so that he could participate in that process. But now he's gone. Perhaps it's time you got to proselytizing. Have you anything useful to say? Or have you simply come to crow at me? Is it not the duty of the Sacred Guard to protect the Church's influential members? Is the onus not, therefore, on you? <sighs> oh. <laughs> Heal, pup. You're still playing the Pontus loyal hound, I see. Oh, they're not they're not even hiding their uh <laughs> disdain for each other. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have other matters to look into. To the library with us, quick. Temenos. Hmm, do these two have a history together? Mayhaps, mayhaps. Hey, you know what? We'll drag this historian with us. Come with us, lost lamb. <laughs> right there. Don't know what I'll do with you, but I'll do something with you eventually. Why did you feel the need to provoke her, Temenos? I was merely pointing out the facts. And it's his job to doubt. Like he told I us lied. at the beginning. You said you didn't notice anything at the cathedral. <laughs> I'd like to say that was born of simple expedience. 
They may be your compatriots, Crick, but they are not to be trusted. So, did you do as I asked? And yet Crick is... Well, oh, Tevinos is trusting Crick with an investigation. I asked everyone who would have been in the cathedral that night. But not a soul saw anyone suspicious. Hmm. Which begs the question of how the Sacred Guard found out. Temenos? Wait, that's the book of scripture we found at the cathedral! Shush, Crick! Shush! Lower your voice, Crick! <laughs> Great! Now the librarian also knows. This was a parting gift from the pontiff. We cannot be shouting about it from the rooftops. Is it of any significance? Hmm. It looks like any other book. Oh, there might be some different lines, perhaps. Oh. There's a note between the pages. And soon, night shall fall. That's it. What does it mean? I've not a clue. But it's clearly of grave importance. Ah, if it isn't the Sacred Guard. Do you still have need of us? Oh, are they gonna try and, uh, coerce us? Crick, you've been reassigned. Understood. No, not our bodyguard! Later. Pack your belongings. I've no need of you, Hound. All right, farewell, Crick, I guess. Reassigned as quickly as you were recruited. It was a short and beautiful friendship, Crick. Wow, is that how... It hardly budding, <laughs> Temenos. Definitely not budding at all. <laughs> I see you won't be taken in. We weren't in each other's company long. But I believe I see what His Holiness saw in you. Why you were chosen. It was an honor, Crick. What will you do now? Investigate, of course. I think I shall set off on a journey. A journey? Indeed. To find the one who murdered the pontiff. I have a hunch, you see. And well, doubt is what I do. Oh, there we go. We've gone full circle. Take care of yourself, Temenos. I must take my leave. Oh. First, I must meet with Lucian, the theologian. Oh yeah, they met with each other earlier, didn't they? The one who was with the pontiff, and thus is now of great interest to me. His holiness concerned himself with the movements of the heretics while alive. So an interrogation of Lucian may be in order. Okay, do we, we've still got some coercion to do. Hmm. Though I cannot help but wonder. The pontiff left that note in the scripture. He knew his own death was nigh. And soon night shall fall. I must divine the truth behind those words. Temenos! I heard the news that you're leaving the village. 
forgive me for not saying farewell, and this is to be a journey of healing. I must mend my broken heart. Ah, very broken indeed. Or so I'd like you to believe. <laughs> Tis impossible to know what goes on in that mind of yours. But I know you'll conduct yourself well. I shall miss your orations of the history, Temenos. Farewell. Farewell, Mint. Okay, and this is the Please beginning of Temenos' journey. If you'd like, that is. Temenos leaves the city, determined to get to the bottom of the pontiff's murder. And soon, night shall fall. The phrase found at the scene of the murder echoes in his head. It is his duty as Inquisitor to shine the sacred flame's light upon the truth, come what may. Temenos the Cleric, Chapter 1, End Alright, that was nice and quick. <laughs> like an hour and something quick. Oh, I've still got the uh, <laughs> villager with me. Uh, let's see, do I continue or should I just leave things here for the day? I feel like continuing. Oh, night time already. Alright, time for some coercion. Probably not you if you're a four star, never mind. Uh, three. Three stars. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I'll try my luck. Time for some. <laughs> oh, and Where was I? five breaks. Ah. Oh, nice dodge. Information acquired. Alright, so we can handle uh, three, three star people. Information gleaned, a hidden item. Uh, a merchant who specializes in liquor. Okay, information to- a hidden treasure is available somewhere. Oh, just right here. Oh, some free wine. Excellent. Alright, uh, tell me the way to some items, everyone. <laughs> oh, this lady wields a spear. Woo. No info. Just just a mid just a generic midwife. Excellent. Okay, guy says he'll become a renowned painter. Okay, I... do you have any other information for us? <laughs> I wonder if it's possible to eliminate these NPCs through coercion. Okay, son of a wealthy family. Alright, don't need to know more than that. Uh, we can take out the soldier. Uh, might want to rest up first. Actually, wait, no, we've, we've still got some SP. And the skills menu. We can learn skills. What do we have? Uh, physical defense and elemental defense of an ally. Steal SP uh, from after two hits. Equivalent to 10% of the damage dealt. It costs six though, so will the refund be worth it? 
Okay, uh, shield to an ally, uh, reducing the damage taken by the next hit. Uh, I think I shall go with a uh, Mystical Staff. Uh, I re- uh, Temnos is gonna want the SP, that's for sure. Oh, and also, it's a two-hit attack. <laughs> Wow, it's a good thing most of these people are weak to staves. Ha. Many pilgrim to flame treasure and are kept safe by the soldier. Okay, sweet. <laughs> he gives a discount at the inn. Excellent. I don't think we'll be using it just yet, though. Alright, Miss Cleric, what information do you have? <laughs> Oh dear. Are you all <laughs> okay, oh. not weak to the darkness. Oh dear, not weak to anything I have. Okay, so I know how to handle her then. So it so it goes indeed, but let's have a rematch, because I'm pretty sure I losing will... these fights also fully heals Temenos. <laughs> okay, no it doesn't. Okay, never mind. This isn't good. Uh, no, we shall retreat then. We shall heal first, and then we'll build up some BP before we so it goes... get the info. <laughs> Very well. I will have the info I desire. You <laughs> to work. You <laughs> oh wait, the la the latent gauge isn't filled up. Wait, why did it disappear? Uh, okay, to get. Work. All right, we'll just keep building it up then. By all means, please keep hitting us. Very well. Oh, it's almost full. Be here. Ah, there we go. Okay. GG. And let me guess, no information of notes? None! Just a prano, piano prodigy. <laughs> Wonderful. I... Ah, one star strength. Excellent. <laughs> well, this should be simple. Oh dear. Okay, maybe not. Very well. Are you all this isn't good. Are you all right, guess we're gonna have to go with the same strategy we've gone with the previous cleric. By all means, please I keep hitting not. us until we get uh, Te Temnos' latent skill up. Not. Oh wait, we're gonna have to do this twice. Ah! Where was I? I think not. 
to work. Can't well, this is going to take a while then. <laughs> oh dear. Can't think not. <laughs> this isn't good. Are you all kidding me? Please, please hit us. We don't have any other tools to hit you with. This isn't good. Actually, let's see. Are you weak to darkness at least? You're welcome. Yes, you are. All right, we still need that latent uh, ability active, though. Yeah, pl please don't, <laughs> please don't make my uh, usage of that soul stone a waste. Alright, there we go. Well, that took a while. Hey, a hidden item. Uh, at least we got something out of that. How about you, good sir? You are stupidly strong. Never mind. Ah, oh, yes, we could use some better gear on Tendnos. Yes, thank you. Ooh, uh... We just parted ways with Mint, and I'm already going to smack her with uh, Temnos' staff for a bit. Yeah, this is one. This is one of my favorite things to do in the previous Octopath Traveler is that uh, <laughs> we glean out all the information with uh, on everyone with Cyrus's ability. <laughs> But of course, this time, uh, this is a bit more violent. Time. <laughs> Very well. A prayer for you. Where were you? Say your prayers. <laughs> How you? Oh wait, does resting also fill the latent ability gauge, as well? <laughs> If so, I could have uh, sped things up a bit, huh? Alright, Mint is very devoted. That's all we need to know. Excuse me, sir. Time. May you perchance have any information <laughs> for us? Very well. Are you all to To work. Ah oh dear, this is gonna be one of those fights, isn't it? Very well. <laughs> All right, please keep hitting Temnos some more. Oh dear. Oh, the old man got some back pain. <laughs> Take that. Oh dear. But, but please, don't waste your turn uh, having back pain. Just keep hitting Temenos until he fills his gauge. Very well. Oh dear. I won't. Now die. No, Temenos, you're not trying to kill them. You're trying to get information out of them. Okay, person who served in the Order of the Sacred Flame before. Okay. 
Oh, well, you haven't saved in a while, so uh, let's just do that real quick. Madam, what information... Or, sir, what information do you have for us? <laughs> Where was I? Are you all kidding me? So sorry. Yeah. To work. Holding on. Eliminate the darkness. Okay, nope, we have to treat this cleric like the same as the previous oh, ones. <laughs> Alright, please keep hitting Temenos. Yeah. Very well, take that! Where was I? Oh, he put us to sleep. Oh, shoot. I won't back that All right, another hidden item. He is a patroller, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hello there, sir. You are thinker three star strength. Time. By all means, please share what information you have with us. <laughs> oh goodness, he wields an axe. Oh dear. Thankfully, he is weak to staves, which is that? very convenient. Are you all Nothing. No info. Right. We... Gosh, there's so many people to coerce information out of. Time. Right, ma'am. Do you have any info on hidden <laughs> items for us? To work. Are you all yeah. Where was I? Okay, weak to light, that's perfect. So we can save our ability for another encounter. Very well. Oh shoot, wrong seal. This isn't good. Holding on. Eliminate the darkness. Alright, Temnos is almost gone. Or... <laughs> Yay, another hidden item. Uh, not in the house, though. How about you, sir? Oh, you're a four star strength. Um. Welcome back. Okay, can't do anything to the merchant. Ah, how about you two? Uh, you're one star, you... How about you? You are a... Two star. Alright, sir, we'll start with you. Time. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, I love it when enemies are weak to staves. No info, but he is an artisan. Madam, how about you? I w <laughs> Oh dear. Take that! Yes! Okay, not weak to stays, and we don't have any SP for the light magic, so we'll just have to rely on the lighter power. To work. Repent. How's that for you? Oh shoot! <laughs> I forgot. To... <laughs> I forgot to activate it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, indeed. All right. Very well. All right, we'll just have to defend a few turns then. To work. I think not. 
swear what I repent. Now time. Hey, there we go, another hidden item. Uh, not in the house, is it all outside? Uh, we're gonna rest up first, though. Alright, grab this hidden item. A warding leaf. Uh, we'll find out what that does later. Okay, let's give this guy a shot. You may be a four star, but maybe we'll have a chance I... while we're we've got our <laughs> latent ability maxed out. Very well. I think not. And it should oh help dear. if we choose to defend Dying first. Not. Oh goodness, even if we defend? I well, down. good thing we've got enough uh, <laughs> BP friend. now. Jeez, even when we defended? Ow! <laughs> okay, he had info to a hidden item as well, so... So at least there was something there. Uh, examine, please. Fumbling flower. Uh, we're gonna rest up again, and then we're gonna head back to the cathedral. If I can beat this four-star guy, I can defeat the other four-star guy. And I might try my luck with that old man in the, uh, in the chapel. Okay, back to daytime. I suggest you get out of my way. Very well. Uh, no, we don't need to summon. You won't... Oh dear. Holy on. Make the darkness. <laughs> to work. Okay, not having crick hurts a bit. You Fighting is not what I do. Or at least not having an extra ally to help us out. Okay, how do we influence day and night here? It seemed like just walking out did the thing for us earlier. Anyways, there's new NPCs abound at least. Must be level 20 or higher for this one, okay. Let's see, anyone in the cathedral? Okay, quite a few people. Doesn't seem like there's much of notes, though. Oh yeah, what about the side paths? Do these lead somewhere? Oh wait, this person has... 
do something for us. A request. No progress on the repairs. Uh, the problem is we lack materials. One large soul stone of each element. Fire, ice, thunder, and wind. Okay, uh, yes. Let us aid you in that request. Uh, I used a dark soul stone earlier, so that isn't an issue at the moment. Do we have any of the other ones? And They have to be large. No, we don't. <laughs> We've only got a light soul stone to play around with. Okay, I'm going to need to figure out how to manipulate the day and night cycle because <laughs> we can't coerce people like this in broad daylight, after all. Actually, are there any other requests? Other than the uh, shattered window. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, the, the day and night is passing by. Okay, you're that's convenient. And it doesn't take that long, it seems. So I just assume we have to walk back out and then back in to trigger the cycle shift. Alright, indeed. Alright, time for more some more coercion, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh wait, I don't have any sort of suspicious emotes. Dang it. Uh, didn't we coerce you earlier? We should have his info already. Okay, maybe not. Alright, I am going to try my luck with this cleric again, though. Time. <laughs> Very well. I think not. <laughs> oh dear. That damage. <laughs> All right, information gets. <laughs> really? N not a single thing? Not even a hidden item, sir? Okay, the uh, wheel really did give me a. Uh... I. An interesting <laughs> choice. Well, a very good choice. Oh my goodness, he's got there six. Go. Uh... Okay, never mind. He's uh, vulnerable to staves, which is perfect. Alright, info, please. Ha. Thieving tips and tricks. Hmm. Greater chance of success stealing items from residents in this town. Well, unfortunately, we don't have the thief character <laughs> to do that. <laughs> oh, okay, these are new NPCs. Six? Six? Excuse me, madam. <laughs> Uh Oh, do I try my luck? Ooh. 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 <laughs> Time. You know what? I might as well. <laughs> Very well. Okay, thankfully her break gauge is only 3. Not. 
to work. <laughs> Alright, we'll end this now. Oh no, we missed. How could I fall? <laughs> Dang it, Temenos, you were so close. You were so, so close. Ah, so it goes indeed. Oh wow, the residents here have gotten a bit stronger since last time. Oh gosh, the Sanctum Knights is a 5 star. Actually, and losing a fight uh, resets the gauge, doesn't it? <laughs> it indeed it does. Uh, well. Please tell me you're weak to staves. You won't no. <laughs> okay, nope. Nope. Okay, we'll come back later. So it So it goes indeed. We could have got some info out of that uh six star cleric, but no. Temnos just had to miss. Okay, no, you're really strong as well. We'll leave you alone. Well, um, not unless we have a full latent ability gauge build. Oh my goodness, the clerics in here are strong. Oh, you're, you're fine. You're a one star. We can handle you. <laughs> this isn't good. Uh, probably not while uh, we're this weak. But wow, this guy has a really nice stave for some reason. I think not. Very well. Okay, no, we're not filling up the gauge with our, this HP. Okay, nope. I guess this uh, this is the end of our round of interrogation. Because I don't think there was any place to rest in this area. Okay, you're still the window person and we can coerce you. Oh well, it is what it is. We'll have to come back when we have a bit more of a HP pool to play around with. Wait, actually, now that I think about it, um, how are we going to get back to town safely with uh, <laughs> how much HP I've got? I uh, did not think this through. Wait, can we rest at this? P please, sir, can you help me rest? No. Dang it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright then, we shall have to come back another time. Because there is no way I'm going to get any info out of those people at the moment. This, this isn't good. This isn't good. I think not. This isn't good. How's that? Okay, thankfully this monkey isn't too bad. Alright, let's.
let's hope we get back to town with uh, this really crappy pool of HP. Wait, like, uh, save real quick. Hopefully this reset the <laughs> step counter. Like it does with the previous game. Oh wait, that old man has a request. Excuse me, sir, what is your request? Okay, so we need to grab candles and do something. Wait, what is his request in particular? We need to procure candles of the sacred flame. Where do we get those from? Can we buy them? Oh, hello, hidden item. Okay, maybe we need to go back to the cathedral and talk to someone there, but I think I'll go back once we've uh, gotten a bit stronger to coerce the people there. Change the party here, hear, hear a tale, restore reputation. Sometimes multiple chapters commence in the same town. Uh, start a story whenever you want. Okay, so it's pretty similar to the previous game. Okay, dear store person, do you have... Uh, let's see... Deals light damage, but that isn't the torches we need. Oh, danger level five. Ooh. We might be in a bit of trouble then. Well, we'll see as we go. Oh, hello there, Traveler. Damn that rotten thief, he took my bag! What do I do now? I won't be able to continue my travels without it. Oh, are you a Traveler? I'm also on a journey. My name is Al. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard this area is quite dangerous, so you best be careful. Thieves abound at night. I lost my bag to one such man. Now I need to figure out how to get it back. You can switch freely between daytime and nighttime in your travels. Wow, it would have been nice to have this earlier. <laughs> Strong monsters come out at night too, so... Okay, so grinding in the night. So that begins the tale of the traveler's bag. Oh, sweet! Oh, that's sweet! Okay, but we'll keep it to daytime for now. And we'll at least save first. Because we don't know how dangerous the night has to are. To get out of my way. Where was I? Come, little lamb. Very well. To work. Okay, 
okay, these eagles aren't too bad. Oh dear. Holding on. Eliminate the darkness. Fighting is not what I do. All right then, let's find this thief. Do we have to find him in a random encounter or? Let's see, actually, can we view a map? Yes, we can. Okay, Oswald to the northwest. Uh, there's a big area to the east. We can also head south towards Throne. Okay, uh, how about this? We go. Okay, Temnos Chapter 2 needs us to level 14, and we need to cross the continent for that. Okay, I want to travel east first, and then we'll make our way around north to Oswald's uh, location. To work. Very well. How's that for you? Oh, geez, that hurts. To work. Uh, how dead are you? It's nowhere near dead. Oh dear. Be here. All right, come, my companion, come help me. Where was I? Take that. Very I won't back down. Holy God, take the darkness. Oh, goodness, what a tantrum that was. Oh dear, going east may be a bit too dangerous for us. Maybe. Oh, it's level 14 area. Ah! <laughs> I know, it's pretty tempting just to... Uh, go along this. We might get some fairly strong items along the way. And there is a safe point here. Oh, whoops. I get out of my way to work. Uh, no, we need to run. How could I fall? Okay. Uh. All right, we'll just go back to the last save point then. Ah. Okay, which was here. Excellent. Okay, can I make it to the next save point uh, with the step current step count, or do we need an ability which reduces the encounter rates first before we can do that? Cheese things this way. Okay, I'll save in a, in an addition a different save slot just in case. Do be gentle. Oh dear. <laughs> Okay, I, I, so far in this stream, I've let uh, Temenos get beat up quite a lot, <laughs> both through the coercions and uh, <laughs> do, going through this area. Ah, oh, we didn't get back to the save point in time. Ah! How could I fall? Okay, so we've gone in this area now, so I assume it's been re revealed in the world map. It has, and it doesn't look like there's a way towards the north. I don't think. There is a town to the east, though, so it might be imperative we go there. Well, that is if we can get there before the... Uh, 
uh, step count catches up to us. Okay, no. We can't progress any further than this. Alright. Unless we somehow flee? No. Okay, maybe we need to get some more allies first. Alright. <laughs> I uh, guess we're going to Oswald first. That is, if we can even make it back to <laughs> the other screen. Uh, back to the west. Before this happens. Great. <laughs> How could I fall? Okay, Temenos might not have been the best of choices to start off with. Oh shoot, no, no, that's, uh, oh, we're gonna get an encounter, aren't we? Okay, I'll give this a few more attempts and we still... Do the gentle. Yeah, if, we, if this still happens, I'll just reload the previous save. Anyways, that's why you save in multiple save files, just in case. <laughs> But yeah, the step counter does reset, which is excellent. That's good to know. It means we can cheese our way through some high-level areas. I suggest you get out of my way. Where was I? <laughs> okay, no, we we just don't have the speed to flee. Could I fall? Okay, at least we were able to scout a bit through the east, but we weren't able to get the any of the treasure chests in the path without getting destroyed straight after. I don't want to save. I want to load. Please let me load. Do I have to go to the title for that? Ah, okay, it seems so. Well, uh, that could have been really bad. I could have immediately hardlocked myself <laughs> this early on, which would have been scary. Oh wait, there's a sign here. I never noticed this. Winterlands to the north, Bordefall to the east, Flame Church to the west, and Brightlands to the south. Uh, let's go down first and plunder any... Actually, no, we don't need to. We're gonna go south eventually, but we should pick up our skull before that. Oh, it's a cat. Very well. Uh, we need to take you out somehow. Atone for your sins. You won't be that. Oh shoot! No, no, oh, no! It's gonna run. Come, little lamb. Dang it, no! Ah, oh, we could have gotten either a lot of money or EXP. Dang it. May the sacred flame guide you. Or something like that. Dang it. I wasn't expecting to see one of the cats this early. Okay, let's see if we can get any specifics on this request. Okay, so we just need to be out at night and encounter a thief? I mean, that's what I'm getting from that request. Alright, so let's just wander around like this. Do be gentle. Oh dear. Uh, wrong skill. Oh well. So sorry. To work. Holding on. Need the darkness. Oh dear. Holding on. Need the darkness. Where was I? I won't back down. You won't. Fighting is not what I do. 
Okay, we only get SP in proportion to... if. Okay, if it's a killing blow, we don't get much SP back. Good to know. Okay, we, we still haven't met the thief. Holy light, illuminate the darkness. Oh dear. Very well. Holy light, illuminate the darkness. Oh dear. Oh goodness, what a tantrum that was. Oh, ah, I see. So you're the thief. Uh, we'll talk to you in a bit. Let's get your treasure chest here first. Yes, we shall take the bag back. Do be gentle. Very well. Come, little lamb. Yes, follow me, historian. To work. Oh wow, My he is really is weak. Not what I do. All right, we got the bag back. All right, back to daytime. Okay, so potentially we might encounter NPCs, uh, different NPCs on the day, depending on the day and night, out on the field as well. Oh, so there's a good chance we'll end up missing a lot of uh, NPCs and requests then. I cannot thank you enough. Now I can continue my journey. Thank you, truly. It's not much, but I want you to have it, by way of thanks. I must be off now. I pray we meet again. Okay, this guy seems like a recurring NPC because it seems... From what the bandits said, it seems like it's hinting towards... Uh... Whatever... Map. Whatever that map uh, leads to. Poor Al. But hey, we shall see him again, as he says. But where? We don't know. I suggest you get out of my way. Where was I? Holy light, illuminate the darkness. Oh dear. Oh, I did not mean May to use the st that skill, but uh, that like still that. works. Oh wait, do we have enough uh, job points for any new skills? Oh, we need a hundred job points. Okay, that's gonna take a while. Okay, a dagger? That's useless to us at the moment. Where was I? You won't Very well. Holy on. Make the darkness. Ah, oh, goodness. What a tantrum that was. Okay, we are leveling up quickly, though. Okay, there's another request there. To the east. Uh, let's see. What? Uh, oh, wait. Hello. Ruffian's hideout. Okay, we can't even get in there. All right. 
We shall steal from the ruffians another time. Hello there, sir. Okay, so we need to defeat the ruffians, but it's a level 14 area and we're only one person still. Okay, I think we'll focus on doing Oswald's part one, and then I think I'll end the stream then. Fighting is not what I do. Oh, we can get on the boats. Uh, is that going to be important? Uh, Oswald's chapter one is here, so... Uh, do we have to cross? Oh no, that's just a treasure chest. Okay, you know what? We'll take a treasure chest. Be gentle. To work. Take that! Where was I? <laughs> you won't. May the sacred flame guide you, or something like that. Okay, Temenos isn't too bad though, uh, combat-wise, on his own. Oh, we can. Oh, okay, we can cross the river that way. Wow, there's so much to explore. We can also go into the bridge here. There's an... Oh, hello, treasure chest. Pilgrim's robe. Okay, yeah. Temenos really needs the defense. <laughs> Shall we? Very well. Fighting is not what I do. Okay, I think that was Oswald uh, down there, so let's have a look. Okay, there's a path south, but no, 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 we're gonna focus on Oswald. We need our party members. He seems to be doing fine. Rescue the man? Yes, we shall. Where am I? Was I unconscious? Yes, sir, you were. You saved me there. My name is Oswald. I'm a scholar. You must be a traveler. Ah, yes, you could say one of the Octopath travelers in this game. <laughs> I'm looking for someone. I'm sure you have your own reasons for traveling. So what do you say we help each other out for a bit? Oh, it's yes, the only we logical shall. choice, and my magic is sure to be of use. Yeah, two magic users would be great right now. You've chosen well. Here, the beginning of Oswald's Tale, the party will temporarily be dissolved and Chapter 1 of Oswald's Tale will begin. Even if you choose no, you can still hear the story later by visiting the local tavern. No, let's hear his story! His tale will continue uninterrupted until the end of Chapter 2. Oh! Oh! Uh, okay, no, we'll, we'll go through this, then.
All things in this world have a source. Nothing begets nothing. Follow the chain of cause and effect, and it will lead you to the answer you seek. I, will we still need to do the tutorial for this? Hopefully not. He is to be judged. For the record, you, Oswald, plead not guilty. Is that correct? <clears throat> the facts are thus. Upon extinguishing the fire, the bodies of your wife and daughter were found in the rubble. Whoops. However, I was trying to make it autoplay, but it doesn't seem it does it, does it with a voice. Detail. Nothing one could reasonably consider the cause of the conflagration was found at the scene. Ergo, the fire ought not to have happened at all. Absent the use of magic, that is. <laughs> you were a scholar of magic, weren't you, Oswald? Is that a mere coincidence? Hm, I think not. Having conducted a thorough investigation of the scene, the court holds the following to be true. You, Oswald, were the only one capable of starting such a fire that night. In the sacred name of Alifan the Scholar King, the court Alifan the Scholar, the Scholar King, wow, what a name. Oswald V. Van Stein, we find you guilty of the murder of your wife and daughter for which you are sentenced to life imprisonment on Frigid Isle. Dun dun dun. Do you have any last words? <sighs> Harvey. The man who took everything from me. Shall die by my hand. I swear it. Ah, but did he say that out loud to the court? <laughs> Five years later, on Frigid Isle. Frigid Isle, a solitary island in the far northern reaches of the sea. Some call it the edge of the world, blanketed in snow all through the year. <sighs> the nearest continent is due east, four days' journey by sea, even on the largest vessel. And even yet then, we found him on the continent the itself. lizards at sea can make a wreck of the mighty ships. So how does he conduct his jailbreak? Trips to and from this accursed place are heavily regulated. This place holds all mainlanders found guilty of the most heinous crimes. It held over 300 of us at its peak. In its, at its peak. history, wow. none have escaped. Or rather, Until now. I should say, the deplorable treatment of the prisoners ensures that lives end before sentences do. I have survived for 1,879 days. Oh, he's been counting. But neither the unforgiving climate nor the ravages of time shall extinguish the fire in my breast. Another frigid day in hell, eh, Professor? This is? That's a book. 
It's your little notebook. It never leaves your hands, does it? And that, yeah, he was pickpocketed. <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. I'm only borrowing it. You were quite the scholar, weren't you? Yes, this notebook could be worth quite a lot. Well, you need to escape first. I'm sure it'd fetch it. me a tidy pile of cigarettes. You're welcome to take it back, of course. But you'll have to fight me for it. <sighs> oh wait, is Oswald ga gagged at the moment so he can't cast anything? Mug the prisoner for the notebook. Oh! <laughs> Wow, why is it on the east, this side of the continent? We've got uh, two violent, very violent characters already. <laughs> At night, Oswald can mug townspeople for their belongings. Jeez. Cool, we've got a guy that will beat you up for information, and we've got a guy that will beat you up for items. Cool. <laughs> And we're doing the mugging with a mage, no less. <laughs> yeah, we yeah we are muzzled. Okay. <laughs> okay, good to know that your fists count as staves. <laughs> Actually, I say that, but I think he was swinging a staff in the middle of those attacks. Take it back. I've got no use for your filthy scribblings anyhow. Help! Guards! He's gonna kill me! <laughs> Oswald's notebook. Can we read yeah. it? Help! Somebody! <sighs> What's all this about? It's him. He attacked me. Well, if it isn't Oswald, our magical murderous scholar. Well, at this rate, he's gonna murder the entire uh, prison. <laughs> How do you like the new toy I gave you, Professor? <laughs> it's a fine little muzzle, isn't it? Keeps you from speaking those spells you love so much. You're the only one who has the honor of wearing it. You should be kissing my feet. Conveniently, there's no other mages in this place, huh? What's that look for? I know defiance when I see it, and I'll have none of it. I'd love to hear what you sound like. I really would. But then you get burnt to a crisp. When you're begging for your life, that is. <laughs> yeah, maybe don't steal Oswald's belongings again. Thirteen seconds from the time a prisoner calls for help to the guard's response. Oh, he's keeping track. Wow. At least some valuable information's come of all this. One warden and 34 guards for 292 prisoners. Only that little amount of guards, really? Over time, I've learned much about the way the prison and the people within it work. And all of that knowledge shall inform my eventual escape. Wow, it's almost like he could write a book about this, couldn't he? <laughs> Eventually. A 
an escape for which the plan is written in this notebook. Using a cipher, naturally. I've revised said plan numerous times these last five years and polished it to a fine sheen. Honestly surprised they haven't taken his Only notebook away from him already. Of the, puzzle remain. the first, an escape route. For this, I have chosen a passage that leads beneath the prison. This passage is overlooked even by the guards themselves, and it leads directly out of this place. I must conduct a more thorough review of it, and soon. The second, suitable clothing. It's too frigid. Once I escape, I'll be exposed to the elements. The cold will claim me in minutes if I am clad in nothing but these rags. Yeah, where does he get the noble clothes from, I wonder? The third and final, an accomplice. To escape on my own would be to rely on my own assumptions. I require the help of another with intimate knowledge of the prison's inner workings. Oh, that's a big liability. With these three pieces in place, my plan shall move that much closer to completion. At which point, only its execution shall remain. The next morning. Wake up, human filth! To work with you! I understand this island was once dotted with mines. Entire mountains were reduced to rubble for ore, and the prison was built atop the wreckage. To this day, there remains phosphor buried in the fridge of earth. It's immensely flammable. And sells for a fair bit of coin. Oh, we're gonna cause an explosion, aren't we? So the prisoners are forced to mine it, and the guards line their pockets with the proceeds. Mine scum! Keep those hands moving! I said, keep moving! Unless you'd rather freeze to death! What's wrong with you? Move anymore. It's too cold. Don't you go soft on me, criminal filth. Need I remind you that you are sent here to atone for your misdeeds? So beg whatever gods you serve for forgiveness and dig, you useless little mole. I assume the warden's going to be Your the boss of this chapter, huh? Compared to the precious phosphor, you cleave from the earth. And yeah, I, I guess a toad by lining up the guard's you, pockets. Really, you really now. If you were anywhere near as easy to set a light. Do you understand? Answer me! Warden, sir. He's already dead. Oh. An unfortunately common sight. We are adaptable creatures. Any environment, no matter how horrific, can be made ordinary. So here's where we can explore. 
forced labor is followed by a vanishingly small window of free time. It is in this free time that I review the remaining pieces of my plan. They are three. They are three indeed. The first, an escape route. The prison is as old as it is massive. There are bound to be gaps and awkward seams. Perhaps I can glean a hint or two from someone with intimate knowledge of the island's history. Someone who's been here a longer time, the second, possibly. Suitable clothing. One they call the Provisioner sells the clothing I'll need to survive. But first, I need to find them. I'll start by asking any prisoners who might know this Provisioner. The third and final piece, an accomplice. Well, an accomplice that won't rat you My out. An accomplice cannot be an ordinary prisoner. I must find someone capable of enacting my escape plan. Then all that will remain is the plan's execution. All right, what's your daytime action? We just can't do it yet. All right. There are not so many guards watching the cafeteria during this shift. Now is my chance to find an accomplice. In the tavern. But everyone here looks ordinary, though, Oswald. <sighs> ah, okay. So he's got the he's got scrutinize. <laughs> Uh, mass poisoning. Sentence of 156 years! Dang! A prisoner who, wants, who was once an aristocrat. He seems cultured and intellectual, but is prone to leaps in subject as well as sudden bouts of shouting and unruliness. No. I cannot tie my fortunes to this prisoner. Impression flippant. A foot licker who reports misconduct to the prison guards the second he witnesses it, which has made him most unwelcome among the prisoners. Yeah, this guy's also a no go. No, this one won't do. And probably not this one either. Hmm. Well known figure around the prison, he's, his exceedingly wary demeanor belies a sense of determination unlike any other. Okay, never mind. We found our person. You there. A word. What are you playing at? Skulking around and sizing up all the prisoners. <laughs> well, we can't speak about it. <laughs> ah, right. You can't speak on account of the muzzle. I've been watching you. You know. Actually, speaking of the muscle, all that time you've been feigning indifference while you surveilled the place, right? Oh, okay. This guy is <sighs> sharp-witted. The other prisoners, the guards, everyone and everything, watching for minute differences, like you're making some sort of audit. As far as I'm concerned, only two types of prisoners watch silently for five years: hungry beasts. Or and people plotting an escape. That's it. <clears throat> wow, guess which one we are. If it's the former, I know someone who can help. But if it's the latter. So which one are you, Professor? Shake your head if you're the former. Or nod if you're the latter. 
nod. <laughs> do, do you nod now or later? Oh. 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 I wonder what consequences this will have, but no. <laughs> the latter. So, my eyes didn't deceive me after all. You're quite clever, I'll say that. Well, I am now, a renowned scholar, after all. Request. I want in on your plan. I can be of use to you. You'll see. I got lots of valuable information I'll only share with a close confidant. I've collected it over my long years in this place. That's why they call me Emerald the Informant. I know my Only someone of considerable wit could have figured out my plot from your observance. Further, he is correct that I have need of his wares. Yes, the wares of information. I can certainly use them to my advantage. I knew you'd see it my uh, way. Hopefully this doesn't lead to a backstabbing though. So, what would you have me do? Hmm. This horrid island is four days' journey from the nearest shore. Even if our escape proves successful, we'll need a ship capable of making the journey to the mainland. I have set my sights on the vessel carrying the inspectors, who visit the prison on an erratic schedule. Okay, so th this requires a bit of luck. Thus, I need to know when it is due to arrive next. The ledger containing that information is fiercely guarded. I stand no chance of laying eyes on it. But all I need to know is the date. For that will be the date we make our escape. Understood. That won't come easily. Not impossible, though. I'll contact you once I have it. <clears throat> One more thing. Get me the key to this muzzle. Okay, yeah, I was thinking about, like, you probably should think about that muzzle. There, seeing as it was made just for you. <laughs> Let's just pray luck is on our side, eh, confidant? Hmm. The plan is in motion. I just need to let the informant do his work. Yeah, and hope that he doesn't rat us out. Or betray us later. Oh, we're gonna have to do Oswald. this in multiple cycles, huh? Oswald. Have you found the answer? <laughs> to work, maggots! Move! Okay, so Oswald's first part is very, very story heavy. We haven't seen a hint, like, a hint of exploration or. Well, I mean, we've got a bit of exploration here, but in terms of combat, not much. Someone who knows the history of this place should be able to point me in the right place. I should seek out the prisoner they call the provisioner. The only question is which to procure first. Alright, we'll just keep scrutinizing everyone. Trespassing, theft, and murder for this guy. How about you? Manufacture and sale of illegal concoctions.
a long serving guard on this island. Uh, yeah, physically, verbally abusing everyone. Nothing new. Okay, can't interact with this guard. No treasure chest here. Oh, they have a library as well. Timid guard who doubles as the prison librarian. Okay, nothing in this side. How about you? What do you have for us? Theft and illegal commerce. Prisoners stole and sold a rare book belonging to the Order of the Sacred Flame. The book's whereabouts remain unknown. Hmm, this might... uh connect to Temenos' story later then, potentially. Or it could be a side story. Hmm. Hmm. Fraud, perjury, forgery. Delusional and pathological liar. Known to many as the Provisioner, he's capable of acquiring most anything asked of him, albeit at a rather onerous cost. Okay, so we found uh, the second of our goals, and uh, just a moment, I'm going to need a bathroom break, so I'll just be right back. Okay, I'm back. Right, so let's see what the informant has for us. So you're the muzzled scholar I've heard so much about. Wait, not the informant, the provisioner. You look like you need something. Same as everyone else who comes to see me. Hmm. The name's Bale. Most call me the Provisioner. I can secure most anything people ask for. And we won't ask how Not you do money, it. Given our circumstances. But everyone has something of value on them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so what's your price, so, sir? He won't hand it over for free. Though. No, oh, we're gonna find, find it through weaknesses. weaknesses. Okay. <laughs> I'd better scrutinize some of the other prisoners. Scrutinize the person who knows Bale's weakness. Oh, we can climb up here. Uh, can't talk to that guy though. Uh, 
a serial arson murder for this guy. And how about you, dear prisoner? Human trafficking. Prisoner is extremely violent. Former human trafficking victim turned human trafficker. Yikes. So he's in the vicious cycle, I see. I don't believe this prisoner knows anything. Okay, what about in here? Guardhouse? Hmm. Okay, guards in charge of document creation. And he is silent. Very silent. Hello there, do you know the provisioner's weakness? A relatively mild-mannered prisoner compared to the others, he was unable to read upon incarceration, but learned to do so under the library guard's tutelage. I don't believe this prisoner. Okay, can we go up here? Okay, no. How about you, sir? Do you know? Warden David dropped his coin purse the other day, and this prisoner watched as Bale picked it up. He doesn't dare tell a soul, though, as Bale knows his weakness. Here it is. Surely this is the Provisioner's weakness. Let's see how he responds. So he took some money. Ah, but we have a weakness of our own, and that's the fact that we're plotting an escape. Finally come to pain, have you? Hmm. Uh, what's that scrap of paper in your hand? What? In... Where did you get this? What? Whatever you want, it's yours. Just swear you won't speak a word of this to anyone. Well, lucky for you, we won't speak of it. We'll write it. Proceeds apace. This clothing ought to keep me from freezing to death. Yeah, how's he gonna hide it from the prisoners, though? Back to your cells, you animals. That will have to wait. Back to the hole for now. This is very much more like the Count of Monte Cristo rather than uh, something like Shawshank. Oswald. We're not digging a hole. Have you found the answer? All right, day three. Oh, never mind. Flashback. No, Harvey. Though I have a theory. Behold this small flame. Nothing exceptional. Yet if I apply the equation I have here, its intensity is compounded. And in theory, its power is multiplied. However, as long as it remains a flame, its power is limited. Using equations to amplify magic powers? This is incredible. Okay, so this guy steals uh, Oswald's genius, research. Oswald. The one true magic. You're one step closer to it, to standing alone atop the summit of magic scholarship. Though, I must warn you not to grow too fond of the idea, for I will surpass you. Ah, there's the hint. I will backstab you. <laughs> Time to work, you worthless sacks of meat. Up and out!
All right, now for the last goal. The escape route. Find the floor plan. Well, it's gotta be in the library then. Maybe. Okay, where haven't we explored here yet? Let's see, someone who knows the history of this place. Okay, we can't go far down this way. Alright, let's check the tavern again. Okay, nothing here. No, still nothing here. Uh, do we just have to talk to everyone? Oh no, we just have to walk up here. Alright. I must find a prisoner familiar with the underground passage. Let's see, how far can we explore around here? Quite a bit, actually. Alright, we'll start with the prisoners at the bottom. <laughs> Instigating foreign aggression and insurrection. Okay, so a rebel. Treason and seditious conspiracy. Defacing a public building. So he's a graffiti artist. Hmm. High ranking member of an evil organization bent on world domination through abject fear and demoralization of the populace. Or so he claims. He refuses to speak when asked about the specific nature of his crime. I don't. Okay, so he's a poser. I see. <laughs> Forced incitement of a duel and murder. So... He was drunk. <laughs> Perpetually annoyed guard. Uh, bark sword is at the top of his lungs. Let's see, are there more prisoners up top? Yes, there are. Okay, so we'll have a chat with this, or, well, scrutinize this prisoner first. Hmm. A prisoner serving an extremely long sentence who worked on the construction of the underground passage. The hard labor ruined his legs, however, leaving him confined to his cell, doing far simpler labor. Okay, so we have the labor report. Do we need to get it? The underground passage? I don't just know it. I helped build it. But don't go asking me details. Best I can say is there ought to be a labor report for it on file in the library. Wow, it's just there in the library? <sighs> the library. Alright then, we've still got a few more prisoners and guards to scrutinize. <laughs> Serial assault. Ooh. A bad, bad man. Well, everyone here is pretty bad. Prone to sudden fits of shrill, piercing laughter. Knows nothing. He's just a crazy fool. Illegal gambling. 
false personation and fraud. Piracy. Uh, what was he smuggling, I wonder? Let's see. Embezzlement of public funds. Uh, maintains he was falsely accused. Well, it's bound to happen. Uh, most brutal guard of the lot, but he is... he feigns exhaustion. Kidnapping and assault. Abducted a child. Jeez. And held them ransom. Alright, to the library we go. Oh wait, there's a treasure chest here. It's just right here. A uh, bottle of blinding dust. Alright, so we can blind an enemy if we need to. is just right there. This must be the labor report that prisoner spoke of. Whoever wrote it spared no detail in recording the construction of the passage. Every detail, and they huh? Were a prisoner as well. Must be why no one gave it so much as a second glance. <laughs> You'd think they'd do that just in case. There's an entry to the passage right by the guard station. All is proceeding as planned. I've studied the tunnel's construction, and I am certain it is suitable for my escape. Back to your cell. Now! Seems I'm out of time. Back to the hole, then. Alright, so the next day we're going to start the escape, I see. Maybe. Maybe. Oswald. Have you found the answer? I've reached a dead end. There's just one last piece missing. I've explored every possible avenue, but it's nowhere to be found. What could possibly be powerful enough to serve as the source of the one true magic? Sacred flame, perhaps? You've done enough, Oswald. Well done, truly. Now, allow me the great Harvey to provide the final piece for you. And then he burns the whole place down. Ah, I see. <laughs> Harvey. Understand, Warden. This isn't what it. Oh no! Are they gonna find out? It's your lucky day. Scott. Ooh! Saved by the bell. Speak another word, and I will bury you in the very pit in which you toil. Do I make myself clear? Club, right? 
I'll see you at the storehouse behind the mess hall. Oh. Oh, we can explore here as well. We go into the mines. No, we can't. And it's been a while since I last saved, so let's just do that real quick. Good to see you, Confidant. It sure wasn't easy, but I nicked it. The inspection ledger. Oh, he did. He took it. The entire Better thing. still, the inspectors are due to arrive tomorrow. <sighs> All we need to do is follow your plan to the letter. We're nearly free. The moment of truth is upon us. <laughs> Tomorrow. At last, the time has come. The next day. Indeed, there's the inspection ship. Can't believe they made it. Aye, the gods are in a foul mood yet again. Sure to be another horrible day in hell. The inspectors should be arriving soon. Prison patrols will be short-handed while they ready a welcome party for the ship. And that's where we start, when we start that to move. a small window in which to begin executing our plan. It's time. First, we need to make our way to the underground passage. Alright, to the east we go. Ooh, uh, let's see, are there ne any negative repercussions of doing this? It doesn't seem like it. Alright, so we're just... <laughs> yeah, okay, well, we'll take as many provisions as we can. Okay, maybe not. We're very weak. Okay, never mind. We we don't stand a chance. Is there anyone we can stand a chance against? Uh, maybe this guy. Maybe. Probably should have saved first, but oh well. Okay, thankfully, Emerald has really cheap healing for us. Oh goodness, even this guy, jeez. Okay, no, we're nowhere near beating him. Okay, never mind. No shot.
Okay, so how are we gonna unmuzzle ourselves? The entrance to the underground passage should be just about here. Oh, it's just Excellent a cover. Work, confidant. Onward. But first, I have a little something for you. The key to that muzzle of yours. Oh ho. <laughs> I'm locked up now, sure. But I was quite the thief outside these walls. Hmm. Now I finally get to hear your voice. Alright, can we actually mug some people now? Oh, are we still being mute? Oh, well, he hasn't spoken for five years, so it makes sense. Well, aren't you going to say anything? It's cold. <laughs> now I see why they needed to muzzle you. You're quite the talker. There's no time. Keep moving. Oh, and... Thanks for the key. Hey, at least he gave a thank you. You're warm and fuzzy, aren't you? Save the thanks for when we make our escape. Don't dawdle, guys, or someone might spot you too. Off we go, confidant. Okay, we can just go up to people with no repercussions at all, huh? I'll take that. I like my All right, time to mug some people. At the start of battle, Oswald can choose one weak point for each foe. He can reveal other weaknesses with every encounter. Hmm. Okay, so we don't need to do it manually anymore. It's just it's just uh, automatic. All according to plan. Thinking time. Fire. Burn. Hmm. Broken. I need a plan. Oh yeah, there's no way to rest either, so. Calculations complete. Fire. Ah, oh, we're not gonna be able to use Oswald's magic that often. I've seen worse methods. Oh, we're gonna need to be tactical about who we mug then. A worthwhile endeavor. Okay, no repercussions from that guard. I'll take I like my arms. Hmm. <laughs> All according to plan. Thinking time. This wasn't in my calculations. I need a plan. Feel my wrath! You're broken. No. Calculations complete. Fire. Burn. I need a plan. All according to plan. Now then. I've gained valuable insight. Oh, yes, give me that EXP. That's the only way we're going to heal at the moment. Oh, goodness, we can actually mug the guards as well. All right, then, might as well. Hand it over. I like my arms. Hmm. Oh, that hurts, jeez. No. Oh no, this is bad. Uh no, we're n yeah, we're not winning this. <laughs> I guess we're just focusing on the other inmates. I'll 
I like my odds. Hmm. Wind weakness. Pierce the winds of frost. Now then, found a weakness. Thankfully, it's not a game over, so I... Alright, we'll just focus on the one-star opponents. Oh wait, we didn't heal. Ah! I like my odds. Oh wait, we could just scan him and flee. Oh, that's a strategy. Weakness, huh? Now then, pierce the wings of frost. I need a plan. Calculations complete. Pierce the wings of frost. All right, DJ. Okay, no, we, we, we can't continue the mugging now. We're ru we've run out of SP. Alright, that's all we're mugging for this... <laughs> for the moment. Alright, down we go. Danger level 2 only. Healing grapes. Uh, there's a ladder down. There's stairs down. Let the experiment begin. Thinking time. All according to plan. <laughs> do I have to? Yes, you do, Emerald. Let's see. Sabotage. Stab in the dark. Two to four. Healing. Thinking time. They're broken. Good one, Professor. No. All according to plan. Good one, Professor. Yahoo! Oh, Yahoo, indeed. That's Thinking. Calculations have done. Do I have to? Yeah. What a letdown. <laughs> okay, I could go mug some more if I wanted to, but you know what? No, we'll keep going. We should level up a bit more at least. Okay, treasure chest here. We need to go in here, all the way to the left. And there was another treasure chest to the left here too. With some gear, sinner staff. Stay back. Stay back. Do I have to? No. Then. Thinking tough. Is broken. Good one, professor.
Oh wait, let's equip the uh, staff. Oh geez, no wonder we've been taking so much damage. We've barely got anything. I mean, okay, yeah, that makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, damn. <laughs> it's like everything hurts. <laughs> uh, is this the way forward? Possibly. Out of my way. I need a plan. I've been broken. Do I have to? Thinking tough. I'm done. Hmm. I've seen worse methods. Okay, if we get some armor, I might give mugging the rest of the inmates another go. Oh, there's an inmate here already. Hello there, what do you have? A cloth hood. Uh, there might be... Actually, you know what, we will purchase one. Okay, so let's see what's in this hidden area to the left. Let the experiment begin. Hmm. Fire. Seen worse methods. What do we have around here? Another piece of equipment. Ancient necklace. Which gives HP and SP. Oh, we definitely need the SP. And what skills can we learn? Analyze, uh, no, we don't need that. Two attribute raising effects at random. Random. Uh, let's see, what to go with first? Uh, let's, yeah, let's just cover our elemental bases. And now we will go back and continue mugging. Wait a minute. Do I have to? Well done. <laughs> this is the informant's turn. It's a shame that we're, we've only got a uh, level up healing to work with, but oh well. It is what it is. Ooh, an ice soul stone. Uh, yeah. Handle. Have at it, guard. I like my arms. No, then. Okay, not weak to saves. I need a plan. Strike them down. Okay, not weak to lightning. No. Pierce them. Wings of frost. Neither ice. Okay, please tell me you're weak to fire. Thinking time. Fire. Burn. Not even fire. Okay, we have nothing for this guy. Feel my wrath. Okay, this is just uh, no, nope. This is just Fire. a bad idea. Burn. This cannot be. Yeah, especially having nothing to break this guy with. Okay. 
Okay, there must be a place where we can rest, right? Okay, never mind. Operation um, Mug Everyone Else is a no-go. Especially if we can't get their weaknesses. Alright, we'll just have to finish this dungeon off then. We'll need at least one level up before we get to the boss, though. I need a plan. I need a plus broken. Good one. That's that. <laughs> this is the informant's turn. Okay, three more encounters and then yeah, we'll head over to the boss. Hello, enemies. We would like to take your away your EXP so we can heal up. Let the experiment begin. Oh, water I droplets. Do I have to? Oh, this kind of sucks. <laughs> Them, focus them once time then. That's that. I need a play. Calculations complete. Oh gosh, these are strong. What the heck? No, we need to run. <laughs> oh, great. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? Ah, oh, dang it. Are you... <laughs> I should have fled when I had the chance. Oh, great. When was the last time I saved? Oh, shoot. Okay, no, this, this is fine. This is fine. Let's see, we still need to level up though, right? Okay, so all that got erased was the initial encounter. Wait a minute. Thinking time. Broken. Miss me. Do I have to? No. Thinking tough, all according to plan. Good one, Yahoo! That's that. <laughs> this is the informant's turn. Right, okay, so uh, I should really be saving after each encounter, just in case we don't have that mishap uh, occurring again. Yikes, not having the fire magic available really sucked there. Now then, huh? I'm done. Good 
good one, Professor. Yeah. What a letdown. <laughs> okay, either one or two more encounters, and then we should be set. Me monsters. Hmm. Broken. <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> well done. <laughs> Almost, almost. Come on, we need that level up here. Alright, level 7. Uh, that should be way more than enough for the boss, I'm sure. Oh no, the escape route! No! The ladder's been destroyed! Damn, we were so close. Use the crates. The cuts look fresh. This was done recently. I fear I've underestimated our opponent. That you did. Uh-oh, we've been caught. At long last, the scholar speaks. Hello, Oswald. <coughs> I commend you for making it this far. You even managed to remove the muzzle. But your choice of ally was your downfall. We've been watching Emerald for some time now. He was too good. That was I the mistake. you two would work together. <laughs> okay, so the warden isn't the complete I'm idiot. I'm sorry, confidant. Then we fight. Save your breath. The fault is mine. And I will correct it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not the first, you know. I've seen countless like you. Ah, so you should be a fairly high leveled opponent then, huh? So many have tried. And every last one. And so it would be my honor to put you back in your place. Out of my way. Oh, the warden looks ugly. Ugh. <laughs> Let's weaken your attack. Don't mind me. Miss me. Actually, we should have probably tested out uh, the fire magic first. Thinking time. Fire. Very effective. Fire. 
No. Pierce that. Okay, there's the guard. That's the hard part. No, don't bite me. <laughs> you got me. Happy? Alright, need a plan. Uh oh, no, nope. time to defend. <laughs> no. Oh, that was too bad, even without defending. Stab in the dark. Do your thing. Oh, great, more guards. How could dress like you give me so much trouble? I see now that no punishment is too great for you. <laughs> oh, no, you're the one who's gonna get punished, I sir. He's a better fighter than I expected. That won't be a problem, though. Based on my calculations, we'll still make it. What are you chattering on about? Now cut out your tongue! I need a plan. Oh, there, there's his skill. It's about to charge. This one's for me. Oh, oh, that broke us too much to emerald there. This should hold you. Hmm. Pierce that. Okay, you can focus spells that usually affect all targets to a single one, but with greater potency. Oh, okay. So, focus fire. Alright, we'll do that next turn, though. Show you what I've learned. All right, single target fireball. Let's go. Fire, burn. And indeed, that is a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, there goes the boss. <laughs> Alright, the rest should be easy. I need a plan. Broken. Good one, Professor. No. Pierce that. Okay, so thankfully there was no betrayals here. It was just uh <laughs> the wardens and the guards actually being competent. You filth! Don't 
think you can escape this place? Confidant? Looks like there's more rats where these came from. Oh dear, we're still in dire straits. Could be our way out. Oh, here's the explosion. It's, go it's gonna happen. We have to it? keep moving. Where exactly? This is the end of the road. No, I have the answer. Or is he just gonna use magic? Flames, reduce this wall to ash. Whoa. Yeah, I think that'll do, Confidant. Oh, he just melted it. And a firewall to too. Now. The hardest part is still ahead. And that's running up to the ship. At the edge of the world sits Oswald, the man fueled by the fires of vengeance. After five years toiling in captivity, he has at last made his escape. Now an angry sea sits between him and true freedom. One last trial on his journey to the mainland. The once imprisoned scholar's hardships have only just begun. Oswald the Scholar, Chapter 1, End. Okay, so it makes sense. Okay, that, now it makes sense why it'd continue on to Chapter 2, because we're still on the prison island. Oswald. found the answer no answers today either and the sun hangs low Rita and Elaine are likely preparing dinner I should be getting back Oh dear. Oh, it's quite a few gravestones. They live by the sea. And there's the house burning down. <laughs> oh yes, Oswald really did it when he's just arrived home. <laughs> to Helena! witness the flames. Helena! I toiled in your shadow, but now I've taken all that once was yours, and in due course, I shall complete the one true magic. Ah, oh, you scumbag! There he is. It's Oswald. You bastard! This, Oswald, is my answer. <laughs> Ever since that day, a fire has burned within my breast. Harvey, you took everything from me. Oh, we're we're so gonna get him back, that's for sure. <laughs> professor. Hey, Professor Oswald. Oh, they've made it out. Come on, give me a sign. Are you alive in there? <laughs> I'm fine. Gotta stay alert. I'm counting on you. There's light up ahead. Let's go. Okay, uh. 
Okay, we're gonna find a save point and then I am going to end things here for the day. And I've been streaming for almost four hours now. Oh shoot. Caught by surprise. Oh well, I indeed I was. <laughs> Thinking time. Do I have to? I need a plan. Strike them down all according to plan. Good one, Professor. Thanks. <laughs> this is the informant's turn. Yeah, I'll go save the game and then I'll end things here for the day. Oh, we're at the front gate. We've done it! We've escaped that godforsaken prison! Okay, now we need to escape the Ireland Don't em celebrate yet. emeralds. They know we've escaped. Then what do you propose we do next, Professor? And I'd like an answer before we freeze to death. The last part will be the hardest. Escaping the island. The inspector's vessel should be docked at the pier. And yet... The warden likely told them about our escape. Let's see what we can learn about the situation. Come. We make for the ship. And try and commandeer it with just the two of us? Hmm. Nope, we're saving first and then we're ending the stream for the day. Alright, so this marks the start of my playthrough for Octopath Traveler 2, so... Uh, it's been pretty alright so far. Uh, I don't know if I'll like this more than the first one, but that remains to be seen. So, uh, next until next time, uh, most likely next week, although with how long this game is, I might do uh, more streams throughout the week. Uh, so just pay attention to when I schedule uh, this game. So until next time, thank you everyone for watching and everyone that will be watching in the future. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.